What's up guys? All right, I got a video for you guys. But before we get into this video, I want you guys to check out this clip. So stay tuned. Oh my god, that's a good deal. See me play. Let's make some space. All right, back with you guys. Uh, I'm going to start off with the channel locks. I really, really like their channel locks. They are awesome. They have the awesome, gnarliest teeth to them. You see those? Those are nice, and they're sharp. Not necessarily sharp, but they're really sturdy, dirty teeth. Like, this is a older pair of Western Forge pliers. Well, let me start this off. These are all made by Western Forge. Craftsman and SK had their pliers and screwdrivers made by Western Forge. And so, when Craftsman went to China, they went to China, and so SK, they still have these pliers made today by Western Forge. So you can still get most of these models of pliers. Like, this, uh, I think this is a 10 inch pair. Uh, yeah about nine and a half ten inch pair this is an awesome set here uh, I believe it was $15.99 at Wheeler Dealer for this set these are some awesome grip and teeth like this is the older style which I think I think these might be better but even this older style, this was supplied to me by Hard Knocks Forge. Awesome guy, good guy, truly good guy, a guy that you want on your side. He supplied these, gave them to me, freebie bonus, homie hookup, and I love them. Freaking awesome pair of channel locks. Like, I hate to say this, but these are better than the actual channel lock branded pliers. And definitely better than Snap-on, I would have to say. 
Uh, I've never actually tried the snap-on pliers, but I've heard that they're horrible. And I'm a big fan of snap-on pliers. Like, these here, these are my favorite pair of pliers, I would have to say. Like, I don't know what, why snap-on has bad channel locks, but apparently they do. So they have bad channel locks and bad vice grips, I hear. So, yeah, boys. And... Uh, part number 45381 on the 10-inch. And this is the 7-inch, I believe. And the part number is a 45385. Yeah, and that's a 7-inch. I love those pliers. I love all these pliers. Craftsman USAMA pliers are a true hidden gem. And the fact that SK Tools still carries them. Ba bam. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gotta love that. Uh, the honey hole that I came up on, I was so stoked. I was just like, what? What? Because <clears throat> these bent nose pliers right here. These are like 30 bucks, 35 bucks on eBay. Like they're, I believe, or maybe even more. They're hard to get. USA bent nose, needle nose pliers are expensive because, you know, you got to have good, strong metal to be putting things in there and holding them down sturdy. So I am stoked to have these. I actually had the Chinese version of these. Uh, there's your part number, 45104. I I just picked these up from the Wheeler dealer, and they need to be cleaned and re-greased. Because they got that, that packaging oil still sitting on them. This was a pair that I picked up from the Wheeler dealer. These ones I already had... This is the, so these are the ones that come in that three pack with the slip joints that you've seen, except for these have, these are different. They say Western Forge Professional, which are the same thing. Still good, it's exactly the same Craftsman pliers. They just say what they say on them. Just a little older before they made them how they are now these are slip joints awesome awesome pair of slip joints they got the flush that's that's a real honestly good feature to have when you're trying to get into something you need that flushness because I know I've had that get in my way before working on vacuums before and they have really good sharp teeth like Definitely comparable to snap on in the like how the teeth are sharp and they like to stay sharp. And then I have my mini needle nose. I love the mini needle nose. You guys gotta get yourself a pair of six inch and even smaller needle nose with a cutter. You will use them all the time. And a good sturdy pair from Japan or USA is what you need. Uh, I'm not familiar of any good needle nose or any available needle nose from Germany. I haven't seen any actually. I'm going to keep an eye out. So here we got ourselves a cutter. <laughs> no pun intended. These are pretty cool. 45084 Western Forge and I believe this is the year mark the AG 20 degree dykes freaking awesome these were $13.99 these are probably about a if it was Nipix it would be 30 bucks you know so probably 25 on eBay 26 on eBay awesome pair of pliers love them haven't actually used them but 
I know they're going to kick ass. This one right here, I'm pretty stoked to have these. These are a smaller six inch pair of dykes, and these are just kind of a good all around pair. I think I want to pick up a couple of extra of these just so I have them on hand. Because, yeah, I could put one in the glove box, one in the bag, and just definitely keep these on hand. You know, they could be like an EDC set. But I do have my Orbis ones, which are awesome. Next up, these are gonna these are probably my favorite type of plier. Duckbill pliers. They're awesome. They're sweet. Love them. They're super stout. They 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 hold things well. Um there's your part number. These were uh, $12.99 as well from that shop. Just a second. I thought I recognized some part numbers being the same, but no, the the third number's the same. Or the third number's different. Yeah. 45084, 45083. So the numbers are all different love these things they make a pair where they're kind of more flatter too with sk i don't know if craftsman carried them i was trying to see i i had the guy open up the case and look but i didn't see any of the flat style just the pointed style uh, another pair of western forge pliers i i never seen these from craftsman but sk carries these still and you can still get them from sk Every so often they go on sale on Amazon for between $30 and $45. Otherwise, they're a $70 pair of pliers. There's your part number. They're a slip nose, needle nose plier. Real stout pair of pliers. Excellent pair of pliers. Worth it. I got them on deal for $30. Bucks. I like to uh, put heat shrink on the tips. That way you get like a non-marring pair of pliers. Then last but not least, this is really one of the best pair of pliers ever. This is like the T-Rex. Friggin' awesome. Uh, Hard Knocks Forge sent these to me. We got these, I found them at the Blaine's Farm and Fleet or one of those Midwest websites. Well, they have those stores in the what? in the Midwest, but they have websites too. And I found these for like 26 bucks. Otherwise they're like an $80 pair of plier. Like SK still makes them. And they're just freaking big bosses. Like, I think they're only 12 inches. 12 and a half inches they go to. And they have a huge opening. Like, what can I open them up to? Alright, there's one. So they got a about an 8 inch opening. That's freaking massive. And without even opening, just as is, that's a 4 inch right there. That's freaking gnar. So if you had some big old pipes or anything, just get yourself some of these these are the badass ones i love these these are great for exhaust work and taking off oil filters and such but bam freaking love these ones uh i'm gonna give a shout out to top wolf automotive cp the tool attic tools and trash Neil the Maintenance Man, Hard Knocks Forge, MD Lee, uh, Budget Tools, The Snap On Junkie, Justin Sturgill Trucking, and Fuzzy Wuzzy. That's right. So, shout out to all of those guys. 
appreciate everybody stopping by and checking out my video. I plan on redoing a lot of my videos because I had a really junky camera. So yeah, I want to go back and redo a lot of them so you guys can see the quality of all the tools, you know? Because before, you weren't really seeing anything. So, appreciate you guys coming by. Deuces.